Hello, it's Graham Tomlin here speaking about my new book, Why Being Yourself is a Bad Idea and Other Countercultural Notions. I've been thinking recently about friends of mine and um, people that I know who are maybe, especially people in their 20s and 30s, who are um, the kind of people who are idealistic, uh, they want to change the world, they're not particularly into kind of things and possessions, uh, they're interested in the spiritual life and they're thoughtful, intelligent people. Uh, and yet for whom Christian faith is something that seems to be kind of passe, it's in the past, it's not something that's a real option for them. And I was thinking about how you would present Christian faith in a way that makes sense to them. And the idea behind this book is presenting Christianity as a form of countercultural wisdom, a wisdom that comes from the distant past, which still has something to say to us uh, in the modern world. I sense that there is a great desire for a different way of life. We've seen that during the pandemic. We've seen it during uh, the climate change um, activism. We've seen it during the Black Lives Matter movement, uh, a realisation that the way we live now is not quite right. We need a different way of living. And Christian faith, I'm suggesting, offers us exactly that. In the book, I look at a number of different themes, the nature of love, justice, freedom, identity, spirituality, and showing how Christian faith offers a, a radically new take on all these things that are so important to us. So the chapter titles are things like this, why being yourself is a bad idea. Maybe that central bit of wisdom in our culture, just be yourself, is not quite as simple as it seems. And how do we tally that with the countercultural idea of Jesus that what we need to learn to do is to deny ourselves? Uh, this chapters like um, you know, why evil exists and why it can't be explained, why justice matters and why we don't really want it, uh, why everybody needs an identity crisis. So here is this uh, pre presentation of Christian faith as a form of countercultural wisdom. Uh, it's estimated during the, the uh, pandemic time, during the lockdown, uh, one in three of all 18 to 34 year olds in the UK accessed some form of online Christian worship. There were people out there just wanting to dip their toe in the water of Christian faith or religion or whatever it might be. Uh, that says something about the level of interest there is in spirituality, in Christianity uh, and in religion in our world today. That's often not expressed, but it's there. And my hope is that this book is something that taps into that desire and enables people to understand and receive and hear a form of Christian faith that is thoughtful, deeply rooted in what Christians have thought over the years, addressing some of the issues uh, that, that, um, that generation is particularly concerned about, that enables them to understand and appreciate uh, and maybe even receive Christian faith for themselves.